I don't understand. Ah, okay. You have plums. Ah, okay. It's good for drink, yeah? Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Good morning, this is Novi Sad. I stayed here for the past three nights and am now walking to uh, go get a rental car. Some of you might notice that I didn't end up recording a proper video tour of the city. I just ran out of time and was thinking about uh, maybe staying another night in order to record a video of the city, but I just want to get going, get out of the city, go see more of other parts of Serbia. There are like mountains, monasteries, lakes and rivers, national parks, little uh, towns of course, and countryside. A lot to see. And so I decided to uh, just uh, get going, go explore more of this country that I haven't seen very much of other than Novi Sad and Belgrade. So just going to give a little taste of things here as I uh, head for the rental car company. I found what sounds like a good price, sixed rental car. I've used them before and so I, you know, kind of trust them. And if I heard them correctly, 23 bucks a day, 23 euros, so like $25, including insurance and tax and everything. So that is a spectacular price, especially compared to what I was paying in Croatia where I just could not find a good deal to save my life, and I looked around. Anyway, here we have the uh, main cathedral. This is not the main square, it's right up ahead here. And so I just wanted to say that uh, Novi Sad is a really, really nice city. I highly recommend it, even though I didn't show it properly. But if you come to Serbia, definitely check out Novi Sad a good base for uh, exploring and checking out, you know, various things nearby. The first thing that I will be going to as soon as I get the uh, keys to that car is a monastery that is only about a 25 minute drive away. And so there are like mountains, there's Fruška Gora, which is very close. The monastery is in those mountains. The main square and a Catholic cathedral. All right, here we go. Serbia road trip. Orchestra playing live right there. Pretty cool.
In the period from 1509 to 1514, Bishop Maxim, in the secular world, monarch Dorde Brenkovic, with the financial help of his cousin, Duke of Wallachia, builds a male monastery, Krushadol. And so this is the Krushadol monastery inside here. I don't really know exactly what uh, there is to see, but I think there's going to be some really beautiful things to see inside of uh, the monastery. This is the area called Fruska Gora. So as you saw then, vineyards, nice countryside, and Fruska Gora itself is a mountain. There is a national park nearby that I will go to next. It is great to get out of the city, see all this green wind blowing in the trees away from the uh, traffic and city noise and everything. So I'm stoked to have this rental car now for at least a week and I might rent it for longer. I can even go into North Macedonia with it. And so uh, this is going to be a awesome adventure exploring around Serbia and Macedonia. A lot to see. I will probably head south from here and go to some more mountains that I heard about. So. Uh, Let's check out this monastery. Out here in the country of Serbia, hanging out with some goats. So there's the car, another Renault. And so I just passed this sign that says Sava Memorial Fountain Spring, and I need some water. So I thought I would investigate and see if I can uh, fill up some drinking water here. Dobar dan. I don't understand. Ah, okay. You have plums. Ah, okay. It's good for drink, yeah? Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you.
All right, well, here it is. I guess I'm gonna go for it to finish off what I got here. Yeah, we've got it. Veta dinara, Veta dinara. Yeah. I'm okay. Are you lamping? Yes, you put a Everybody. What's up? Cover down. Cover down. I don't think I can about the end. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. I guess she doesn't really understand the concept of. Uh, but I obviously don't speak Serbian, but. I'm in the Fruska Gora National Park now. I don't know exactly what, you know, there is to see here. As you can see, it's like kind of hills and uh, forests. It's not really like big old mountains or anything, but I just saw this road turning off. And so I thought that I would just drive down it, see what I see, get kind of a little deeper into the uh, woods here. Just a little one lane road. I have no idea what it's going to. There were some signs with some names on it. So just gonna cruise down here a little ways, see if there's anything worth seeing. Okay, there's a uh, fork and the road just gets narrower. And it looks like this is a gate. This might be somebody's... Okay. That's random, just total end of the road. Okay. So you can see there Verdnik Spa Resort. Verdnik is a little town that I came across online that I'll end up driving through. And then some more monasteries it looks like. And here is a uh, viewing point. Now you can kind of tell that we're on a mountain with the viewpoint. And some sort of a uh, cable here. Maybe for transporting something, a little something hanging from there. But uh, anyways, I'm going to be basically driving down into there and then heading out into another region of Serbia out uh, to the south. So off to the left here, we have the Tower of Verdnik. Sounds pretty interesting. Point 0.9 kilometer down this way. So I guess it's a walk through the woods to the tower. And here is a sign. There is a picture of the tower on the left. I'm not going to show it just for surprise's sake. But wanted to show this uh, writing. Okay, there's at least 1521. Otherwise, then... 
I guess that's Cyrillic, it looks like. But Serbian is normally written in the uh, Latin characters now. Maybe before it was Cyrillic, I'm not sure. Or maybe that could be Russian or something. Hey. All right, according to that guy, the tower is up and over this hill. Well, there's definitely going to be a view. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is this tower? Okay. Hello. Ropes course, it looks like. And I think this is it. So, Subotica. People had recommended that. I looked online, it looks like a really cool city, but it is up to the north of Novi Sad, about an hour. And I decided to skip it for now and then maybe see later in the trip, I could possibly circle back around. All right, here we go. Some old, old, Ruins. Obviously a watchtower. Good spot for watching out in every direction. Wonder how high up there I can get. All right. There's some singing going on. Oh. Okay, you could actually get inside. Okay. Oh, we're done. Hello. Now we're done. Dobar dan. Where are you from? United States. Yeah, and you? Uh, Serbia. Which city? Novi Sad. Novi Sad? Ah, I was there, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Do you know the history or anything about this? Oh, no, no. No, no I really uh, don't know. Yeah, obviously it's like a watchtower, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So this is the little town of Verdnik. Very cute. And I might just drive through and keep on going because I'm going to try to head for a place that someone had recommended in comments under a uh, recent video that is several hours south of here and it is after four in the afternoon. So it's time to make some progress. Looks like this is downtown Verdnik. Can't tell if she's trying to cross the street or not. Maybe not. Tractor right in the middle of town. Many tractors.
And so I just checked and the place that I want to go to next is four hours away of uh, straight driving. So, you know, more than four hours. It's after uh, four o'clock. Dober done! Dober done! My car! Just, just looking! Tourist! Tourist! Okay. So I saw this super old uh, barn thing and just had to uh, stop and take a quick look. It looks like it is the barn for the house and the lady was there. So uh, not going to uh, try to get in there. Besides, there's this smelly ditch in the way. Little stream there. Anyway, time to uh, keep on cruising and drive across Serbia. So I don't know where I am. I'm in some town, but there might be something cool inside that building right there. It sure doesn't look very open. Let's find out. So uh, right before uh, I took off from that last stop there, oh man, this does not look uh, like it's happening. All right, yeah, these are ancient ruins, but uh, Imperial Palace, Sirmium. So it is 10 minutes to five, and right before leaving that last stop there, then I decided to do a little bit of searching and see if there was some stuff that was closer by before I did this long four hour uh, drive straight and I discovered thanks to David Hoffman David's been here I searched for Roman ruins and found this place that was just 25 minutes away from where I was right on the way to where I'm going and it said open until 5 but that apparently is not the case that's a shame but at least I can get a general impression of it from out here. And so I searched for Roman ruins in Serbia and one of David's videos came up and this was the uh, first place that he visited, so... 8 to 4. On Google it said, closed at 5. So there's the problem. Here you can get a little bit better view. It's not all that amazing anyways. I was kind of thinking of something with some, you know, big columns and boulevards, something more outdoors or whatever. Uh, but uh, get the general impression there. The Roman Empire was here for like 600 years, I think, from around 100 BC until 500 AD, I believe. And there are other Roman ruins in the area, so... We'll see if I find some more, maybe some more spectacular ones. Time to get back on the road.
Good morning. So I found a uh, nice place to stay last night. No, not here. But uh, right nearby, this is just some old abandoned building next to the uh, hotel that I'll show in just a second. But uh, I always like to explore the raggedy old places that have, you know, seen uh, some stuff. So that is the hotel over there. And I've forgotten the name of the uh, town here where I am right now. But uh, last night, then, my destination was Mitrovats. Mitrovats is up the road that way, about a 20-minute uh, drive. And I wasn't sure if I was going to make it there last night or not, so I hadn't booked accommodation. And when I got up there, then basically it was just kind of not really a town, hardly anybody around. I couldn't find uh, accommodation nearby other than apartments and it was late and I was afraid that if I booked a uh, apartment then maybe they don't get the email and you know I can't check in or whatever and so I changed plans and found this hotel here and came down here and so now I'm going to uh, drive back up there it's like a winding road up the hill and get to Mitrovats which is like a nature area on a mountain with an amazing view something like that um, but that is going to be in the next video so I'm going to end this video here and uh, look for the next one Today I'm going to be exploring around, seeing a lot of amazing stuff, some places that I don't exactly know what they are, but I have a list of different things to check out in the uh, general area. So uh, look for that next video coming uh, soon. Lots more to see on the incredible Serbian road trip. And this is the hotel. Not even sure how to pronounce that, but uh, nice place. There we go, Garni Hotel. And the trusty Renault is parked over here. And I'm heading that way.